Hey guys, this is Kate. Um, I had a, a comment left on a video that I posted recently asking about stamping on photographs and what supplies that you needed for that. So I thought I would just do a really quick video and show you kind of my go through two things for stamping on pictures. So I have this picture here that um, it didn't print correctly. I wanted it to print more of the water and less of the sand, but it's perfect to use as an example um, to stamp on because it has it's pretty white. So you'll get to see um, a lot of the colors. And then I'll also use a darker photo to see how to stamp on white. Now, the I'm sure that there are other mediums or inks that will work on this. My go-to ink for stamping on on uh, pictures is stays on. And I have four different colors. I have the dove gray, the gold, um, the jet black, which is what I use the most, and then this cotton white. And the cotton white and the gold both come with a reinker. So when you purchase the stamp pad, it includes the reinker. And this is because you generally have to reink them before every use. So I'm going to show you that. I have I have found that with the gold, I don't necessarily do it with every use, but with the white, you definitely have to. So I'm going to start with the gold and I'm going to use this little, it's actually just a rubber stamp from Banana Fish Studio, but I just mounted it on a wood block and I actually used the stays on to stamp it um, up here so you can make your own wood stamps that way. So the way a stays on ink comes is it has, where did it go? I just had it sitting right here. Oh, it usually has this protective um, thing on the top that keeps it from drying out. I just took that off because I was using it. So um, first I'm going to take this little heart mounted stamp and I have not re-inked this since the last time I used it and the last time I used it was a good while ago. So um, I'm just going to ink this up and it's pretty tacky, like it's a pretty tacky glue. And then the thing that you need to be careful of when you're stamping on photographs is that they're very slick, which is why I like to use a wood block stamp because I feel like that I can hold on to it pretty well. So you just want to go straight down and straight back up. And as you can see, it stamps perfectly. It also takes a little while to dry because it is a tackier um, consistency than like regular ink. And so you'll want to make sure that it dries really well. So I'm just gonna hold this up so you can see that it just stamps perfectly. And I will also use a larger stamp to show you. Again, I'm just gonna go straight down. You pretty much only get one shot when you're using a wood plug stamp and straight back up. So as you can see, it um, stamps perfectly. And I use the Hero Arts Ultra Clean um, stuff to clean my stamps and this Ranger um, foam mat. So I just spray the mat with some of the Ultra Clean and then rub the stamp onto it and you can see it gets it nice and clean. It takes off, stays on ink. And then I just use like an old t-shirt and clean it off. I don't use, I used to use stays on remover, but I heard that it's bad for your stamps. I don't know what it does to your stamps, but I heard it was bad for your stamps. So I don't use it anymore. So that's the gold. And like I said, I did not have to re-ink that. And then I'll show you the black and the white. I don't really use the gray that often. Um, so again, it has the protective thing on it. I just re-inked this, so it might be a little bit juicy. So I'm going to use another wood block stamp that I made. do. I just stuck my finger in that. This is a fun stamp because it's like a place to put a date. Oh, see, I wiggled. See what happened there? I totally wiggled. And it might be this stamp because I I did it again, but that's better. But you can see it's sl they slide around a whole lot. It's not the easiest to stamp on a picture. Honestly, it's kind of hard. Um, let me try. Let me use a. Where's my oh. Let me use a um.
I'm gonna use one of these sets from my latest Studio Calico kit because these are really cute. And these are like what I would stamp on pictures with, is like Project Life type um, stamps. So let me use one of these. That's weird. Okay. I've never stamped these before, so I'm not sure how they're going to stamp out. And because I just re-inked this, it might be kind of uneven. Oh, but see, that stamped perfectly, so you just never know. Yeah, that stamped perfectly. I really like the way that turned out. So let's stamp another one. Um, sorry guys, <laughs> I'm trying to get a stamp out. I'm not very prepared for this video. Um, let's see, this is a good one. Sorry, I just had to go through my, I keep my Studio Calico stamps in a handbook, by the way. I'll show that um, in, a, in a video. So here's another stamp set that is perfect for Project Life. And let's do this right now because it's like big and kind of thick, like blocky. Let me get that nice and inked up. Perfect. It stamped perfectly. So as you can see, some of them are going to stamp perfectly and then others aren't. That's just the way it goes, right? Okay, now let's, um, let me get a dark photograph. I thought I had one out, but apparently I did not. So here is like a, a picture, an example of a picture that I would use white ink on because it's so dark. And I'm going to take my season on white ink pad. Again, it has the protective thing on the top. And this is dried out. So is this cotton white? Yeah. So I'm going to take my reinker. This is a really old ink pad, so I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to try it anyways. Whoa, it's like... They normally just like make dots and this one like came out and now it's clocked it. Okay. So I'm going to like try and work that into the ink pad so it's like even. I should probably use like a scraper or something but I don't have one. Why is it getting... You know what, let me use, I'm going to use this, like my palette thing. <gasps> yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. You need like a scraper. I think it comes with one, I just don't know where it is. Okay. So now I have my ink pad inked up. And... Hmm... Let's do these little arrows. Okay. Oh yeah, that works pretty well. I like that. Let's try a word. Let's try awesome. Pretty juicy because I just like you, you saw me. I just reading to I, I moved a little bit. Oh, that stamps really nicely. So stays on white is pretty good. So there are some examples of stamping on photographs. I hope this answered your question. Um, 
And if you ever have any questions or um, video requests, just leave a comment below or message me on Facebook or at my blog and I will be happy to make one. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you real soon.